Once you make a database table, you can create a model, which is a better way to manage content of that table instead of writing SQL queries. So let's create one using PHP Artisan command. We are going to name this model post since we have posts table in the database. And as you can see, it's created under app folder. Now, cool feature about Laravel is that if your model is named post, it will automatically try to connect to post table. And that is exactly what we want. Same thing with user model and user stable. But if your name table is something else, you can always define a protected variable inside model class to define a target database table. Now, we don't really need this now, but I'm just going to demonstrate how we can do it. And you can do this anyway if you want to have a better structure and know to which table each model is connected to. Let's add some rows to the table and see how we can get all posts in a controller. So I'm going to phpMyAdmin on the Insert tab. Now we are going to define a new route that we will use for returning all the posts. It is going to be using get request type and it will be pointing to public controller. But since we are inside the namespace admin, it will try to point this one to admin directory. So we need to get this one out of here. And let's define it here. The function will be called display posts. And we are going to give it a name of display posts. Now let's create a function here. So now we are creating a new variable called post and when I typed post it automatically included this post model inside controller and all I have to do is use the all function and that is it. So let's return var dump post variable. Let's check if it actually works. Great. As you can see, we are getting objects here, but this is not really a output. We can read something from it. Let's try to display titles from both posts. So I'm going to use for each loop here, we are going to loop through post variable and 
we are going to print post title and let's just add a break line here so it looks nice okay so this is pretty much everything we need to do here okay as you can see it actually works now this is how you are accessing the attribute of the model now this can also be a custom function if you define it under the post class here 